So we're starting tonight, our Monday night practice, laying on our tummy. What does that do? Laying on your tummy is going to help settle any kind of pitta stuff that's going on. It's also gonna help with assimilation. So we're starting our practice tonight with a practice to help us assimilate the day, help to integrate it and release it. And then we will settle down and calm down with a nice stretching practice towards the end so that it supports sleep. Let's get started. So laying down on your tummy, and you definitely wanna use um, a blanket tonight, and maybe if you need a block or two, grab that. So laying on your tummy. We're gonna start out with the lower body first. So you can turn your head to one side. Let me move my mic so you guys can hear me. So you're going to turn your head to one side just to make it easier and then bring your legs in. And we're going to start out with the legs, both legs lifting up and holding it up. And then releasing down and then lift up again and release down and then lift and release and lift and release. Two more, just like that. Lift and release. One more and lift and release. Good. And then we're gonna do the upper body. You have a few options with the upper body. If you have issues with your shoulder, or you're not feeling as strong, then you'll wanna take your hands behind you or you can bring them up into like a cactus or field goal, goal position, or you can fully extend them. That's gonna be the hardest position to do. So you might wanna start out here with the hands at your back, legs stay on the ground, and then lift and hold, and then release. Try with your hands up at the shoulders, lift and release, and then try above and lift and release and see which one works for you. If you need to stay here, lift and release, do that, bring it up and release and then up and release, good. Then we're gonna combine both the lower body and the upper body. So lifting everything up and then release. I'm keeping my hands behind me to start, lift. Now draw the navel in and release and lift, draw the navel in and release. Two more and lift and release and lift, good, and release, good. And from there, we're gonna push back into extended prayer, releasing that low back. Coming up into a crawling position, curling your toes under, right leg extends with the left arm and then bring it in. Left leg, right arm in and switch. Bring it in, switch, bring it in and switch. And try to lift up higher, reach, good, reach. Good, reach. The next one, right leg, left arm, hold. Lift up a little higher, now draw the navel in. And then release. Left leg, right arm, hold, lift higher, draw the navel in. And release. Right leg, left arm. Then the left arm comes down, from there, you're gonna curl your toes under on that left leg, push up, lift, and then step forward, lunge, drop. Drop the knee, release. Good. And then from there, you're gonna move in a circle. So we're gonna go back 
and then come around. And I want you to move in a circle back and around. So there's a slight movement of your hips, then you move to the right, then go left and then right. And pause there, step back, down dog. Shifting forward into plank, modify to your knees, lower. Lift up Ujjanasana. Take it back, down dog. Dropping down onto your knees. We're gonna keep the toes curled under. Lift up, reach and pull open. Hands to the sacrum. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale out the mouth, release. Dropping into that crawling position. And from there, left leg, right arm extends. Drop the hand down, push back. Three-legged dog. Step that leg forward. Drop. Good, again, we're holding. I know this is kind of a weird move to go in a slight circle, but it just kind of helps release the pelvis a little bit. So you're gonna move back and move forward. So you could just move back and move forward, but if you want, see if you can kind of shift your hips to the right and then move to the left and shift to the right and move to the left. So there's a little bit of movement there with the torso. One more. And then hold. Good. And then from there, we're gonna step back, down dog. And shifting forward plank, lower, lift. And take it back, curl your toes under, reach up. Again, hands are gonna go either at the sacrum or you can go to your heels, lift. And then release and come back down, press back down dog. Right leg steps forward. We're going into a high lunge now, hold it there. See if you can lift up a little bit higher, right hand on the thigh. Now you might wanna separate your feet a little bit and bring your left hand up onto the thigh. Then one hand can come up and then the other. And release. Step back, down dog. Shifting forward and we're gonna lower all the way to the ground and then lift the legs and the arms up or you can stay back here where we were started before. Everything lifts. Thighs off the ground. Navel is drawn in. Then release your hands down and press back. Left leg steps forward. High lunge. And again, separate your feet a little bit. Separate. Then the left hand comes onto the thigh. See if you can bring your right hand up. One hand comes up and then the other. It's up to you. You do not have to bring your arms up. And then release. Step back, down dog. Shift forward, lower all the way down again. And lift, thighs up. 
chest up, navel lifted, hands to the chest, lift up, Bhujanasana, press back, down dog. Right leg steps forward again, high lunge. Separate your feet, come up, both hands, lift. Good, and then from there, you're gonna release down into warrior two. Drop your back heel, reach up. Transitioning from this position down into Parjava Konasana. Swing the arm around, rotate, reach, lean way back. Swing the arm around and step back. Down dog, shift forward plank, lower. Lift everything, legs, arms, everything lifting. And then release, push up, Bhujanasana. Then take it back, down dog, Adho Mukha Savasana. Then the left leg steps forward, high lunge. And then lifting up, both hands if you can, lift. Then drop your back heel, warrior two. Lifting that front arm up just to kind of give you some space to then drop down into Parjavokanasana. And you can go on the thigh. Swing the arm around, lift your back heel and turn that torso towards the front leg. Swing the arm around and step back. And then from here, we're going to look up at our hands and walk our feet all the way through and so that you're seated. Right leg comes up, goes over the left extended leg, then turn, look behind you. And then release and do the other side. Leg comes up, take that bent leg, left leg over the right extended leg and turn. Good, and then from there, we're gonna release down onto our back. Take it down onto your back, push up into bridge. Find your heels, push up into bridge. So we're gonna be doing this whole thing that is gonna release through the pelvis and stuff. Then you lower, draw the right knee and extend the left leg, draw it in and release, bring it back in. And this really works, by the way. Draw it in, then take it opening to the right side, and then across. Then release from there. Left knee comes in, extend your right leg. Draw it in, and then release. Draw it in, and release. One more. Draw it in and release, draw it in 
and open to the left. Take it across the body. From there, bring your feet in again. And then this time you're gonna to try to lift a little higher and you should be able to. It usually works every time. And now you're lifting higher. Whoa, what did you do? Well, you released your pelvis. Draw your knees in. You wanna track the knees in line with the front of the hip bone. And then from there, release, Ooh. drawing both knees in, extending, and then you're gonna lower your legs and lift your upper body up. Boat pose, well, a variation. Draw both knees in, open up the arms, take them to the right. Lift up and take them to the left. Lift up. The legs are going to come up and we're going to lower, lift the upper body so that you come into Navasana, boat pose. So you are on just above the tailbone, reaching. If you're having a hard time, grab behind the legs. Navel in, chest lifts. Release, left leg goes down, right leg bends, goes over that left leg again, lift, rotate. From there, you're going to drop that Bent leg, drop it, open it up, and then lift and open the whole front body. And then release, drop down and take a forward fold, reach for that extended leg. And then release, extending now left leg over the right. Again, we rotate. Then dropping that leg, reaching up, open. And down and taking that left foot into the straight leg and reach forward for a forward fold. Good. And then from there, we're going to bring our feet in together. Come up on top of the feet. You're on the feet. Hands in front, push forward fold. Inhale up. Step to the top of your mat. If you're not there, exhale down. Inhale extension. Step back, down dog. Shift forward, plank lower. Lift up dog or you choose. Take it back, down dog. Right legs forward, warrior one. Reach up. 
and then rotate up, turning the torso towards the front leg. Swing the arm around and step back, down dog. Shift forward plank, lower, lift. Back, down dog. Left leg steps forward, warrior one, reach. Up. Dropping the right hand down, turning your torso towards that front leg. Swing the arm around and step back. Shift forward, plank lower, lift. And take it back into extended prayer or child's pose. Pause there. Rest. There, we're gonna come back into a crawling position. And pressing the right leg out, left arm out, reach back, grab your foot, lift up. Release, left hand down, then push up into three-legged dog. That leg is going to come in, go under the body and across, and then pull it back, reach back up, bring it back in and step forward, drop your back heel and go right into trikonasana. So hand with or without a block is on the baby toe side of the foot and then lift that left arm, stack the left shoulder on top of the right, left wrist on top of the left shoulder, Straighten those legs, draw the navel is lean back, keep the torso lined up with the front leg. Swing the arm around and step back, down dog, shift forward, plank, lower, lift, back, good. And we're gonna drop back down into a crawling position. Left leg extends with the right arm. Reach back, grab your foot. Then release, push into three-legged dog. Up, draw that knee in, take it under and across so you just under then bring it back up three-legged dog then step that left leg forward drop your back heel trikonasana so you're sitting right up then that hands on the baby toe side of the foot stack right shoulder on top of the left lean way back line up the torso Swing the arm around and step back. Shift forward, plank lower. Again, lift and then go back. Child's pose or extended prayer.
from there coming back into a crawling position. Right leg extends with the left arm. Reach back again, grab the foot, lift. Then release, push into three-legged dog. That leg then is going to step forward. You're gonna bring the hand in the inside and then open up, take the arm alongside the ear. You can use a block. Then we're gonna reach, lift, straighten the leg, turning your right foot towards the left, feet are parallel. And then you're adding a rotation. So the right hand comes across the body to the left leg open. You can use a block here. So open up, open up that chest, reach, open it up. Yeah, that looks good. And then rotate forward. You're going into a lunge and we're gonna release the back leg. Drop down onto the elbows with or without a block. Relax your head. From there, we're releasing back. So you're gonna take your weight, I'll turn sideways so you can see. You're releasing back and taking and shifting your hips to the right. If you are teetering to one side like this, then you're gonna take your blanket underneath, okay? First, we're gonna go back onto the elbows, or you can use a couple of blocks behind you or a bolster and go up on the two blocks, okay? So you can go back on bolster or on two blocks. If you're a little more flexible, you can go all the way back. So I just made an adjustment. I brought my foot up and I kind of shifted my hips over to the right. I just flattened out my pelvis. So now my sacrum is down. So I'm just giving myself a little bit of assistance here. You can do that, whatever position you're in just to kind of give myself a bigger stretch in the quadricep because my knee is popping up. I take my extended leg and just press down and put pressure and weight on that bent leg. And that really increases that stretch. To come out of it, you're pressing the heel of your left hand into the heel of your left foot. Come up and go into a forward fold. Good. And from there, releasing out of it, 
shift your weight forward and step back. You can either hold down dog or you can go Chaturanga Dandasana, lower or lift up Cobra or up dog and press back down dog. So I'm going to turn so it all looks like we're doing the same thing. Good, then left leg is going to step forward. And you're gonna bring that hand on the inside, reach. You can use a block, take the arm alongside the ear. Then lift, reach, turning your feet parallel. Left hand now goes across the body and open. You can use a block. And releasing, turning towards that left leg, drop the back knee and release down onto your elbows again with or without a block, relax your head. Good, and then we shift our weight back. Shift our weight back, move your hips over to the left. Again, if you're teetering, in other words, leaning to the left, you wanna grab a blanket and sit, place it underneath the left glute, okay? So you're, you're even, then you go back. You can use two blocks or you can use a bolster. Onto a block. If you're a little more flexible, you can go all the way down. Again, I'm gonna use my foot, pull it up and even out, level out my sacrum. And I'm gonna bring my extended leg up and kind of press my other leg down. So I get a bigger stretch there. Try to relax in that position as much as you can. And if you're not able to, it means you need to modify. Then to come out of it, pressing the heel of your right hand into the heel of your right foot, lift. And then forward fold. Good, and then from there, we're gonna lean to the side, pull the back leg in and shake out those legs, shake them out. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so doing double pigeon, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see what we're doing. Just kind of helps release your pelvis a little bit. Pulling one foot in on the bottom. So remember what leg you have on the bottom. And that bottom foot can go closer to the hip, like, all right, or you can keep it further out. If you're out further, you wanna be ankle, knee, knee, hip, lined up. And then you repeat that same pattern for the top leg. Lift your chest and hold it there. Okay, so first rotate to one side. Breathe, settle the hips. A lot of times this can be pretty intense. Settle. And then rotating the other direction. Again, breathe into your hips. And then down. Resting forward. If you can't do it, just stay up and lean forward a little bit. Eventually you'll get there. And then release and we're switching sides. So we're switching legs. Top leg down goes on the bottom. Bottom leg goes on the top. Again, you could draw your heel closer to the hip to make it a little easier. And then we rotate to one side. Hold it there, pause there, breathe. And then go to the other side. Again, twist and hold. And then dropping down. Hold there, breathe into your hips. All right, and then releasing out of that, whew, shaking out those legs, laying on your back. Doing a nice bridge. And then releasing, drawing your knees into your chest. Opening up your arms, taking them to one side. Take a breath. Then the legs come up, go to the other side again, take a breath. Good, and then setting yourself up for Shavasana. If you do have a bolster, grab it and place it underneath your knees. Palms up. So in Shavasana, you're laying in total stillness, closing your eyes, covering your eyes with a cloth, a towel, 
an eye mask, an eye pillow, something to cover your eyes. And then relax. Let that body settle. Begin to feel the breath winding down and settling calm. Body begins to settle with the breath. Feeling your connection to the ground. Noticing that the body will continue to relax. Begin to feel that you're able to drop even deeper into relaxation. Calm and settled, at ease, allowing the mind now to relax with the body. Then and begin to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Just 
slowly roll to your right side. Then bring yourself up to a comfortable seated position, hands together, connecting your thumbs to your heart. Close your eyes. Make sure that you're sitting up, up out of the pelvis, lengthening that spine, reaching through the top of the head, and then take a moment to be completely still and soften the body, softening your skin, softening your muscles, Imagine that you can even soften your bones. Relax. So may you have a wonderful evening. Namaste. Then where's Patty?